What's up, YouTube? This is D from Brooklyn coming to you with another portion of my summertime series, and that is on life support. Mainly things that I use to operate the outdoor ponds and fish projects without using electricity. And what we're going to talk about today is this little baby, which is a solar powered air pump. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole opening packaging, but basically it is an air pump that runs on the power of the sun. And the reason I do this is because I want everything outside to be self-sufficient. I want it to run more of like things would run on nature. Nature, it gets hot, it gets cold, pressure changes, pressure rises, pressure decreases. The air gets plentiful, the air gets thin, and it's a natural environment for the fish. And for those of us with a limited budget or trying to do things as simple as, po as possible, this makes it much easier. Now, this piece is basically, like I said, a, a solar-powered air pump, which means there's a solar panel. And there's an air pump and you can recognize this because of the airline tubing it has a little battery inside which charges with the uh, solar panels similar to how the the solar powered air pumps i mean the uh, solar powered water pumps the fountain pumps are uh, are operated now you can find these on amazon uh you, i've seen these on ebay i'll put a little uh, note and some uh uh, in the description below, uh, maybe a link if I can see it. It's constantly changing. But they run about $20 to $25, and they're really easy to set up. Basically, you have the panel here, which is really nice. I'm going to see where I can mount it, but from the looks, you have some screw mounts here. I may attach this to like a piece of a one by one because I like to raise it up pretty high so that it gets uh, more than uh, 10 to 12 hours of sun per day. Um, it's packaged really well. They basically give you the panel. They give you a power supply. Uh, this is a USB power supply, which is really interesting. So I guess I could run this indoors if I wanted to, or even use one of them uh, portable uh, chargers, like a portable charger. If I want to use a portable charger to operate this, I could plug this USB line into a portable charger, put it in something kind of weather resistant. Uh, or wrap it in cellophane, something to that extent, and power the pump like that. They give you a little bit of air hose. I'm probably going to need some more of that, but I got tons of that in, in the house. <laughs> I probably got 100 feet or more of that in the house. They give you a mounting clip. Okay, let me take this out so you can actually see it. Okay, they give you a mounting clip, which allows this to be stuck on the wall or screwed in place however i'm going to mount it i'm going to probably put this in my greenhouse because i don't have a lot of uh uh solar stuff in the greenhouse other than the one pump um what else they give you a little stone air stone and uh oh wow they give you a check valve which is actually cool they give you a check valve so that you don't get back uh, pressure but i'm going to mount this pretty high up in the uh greenhouse and uh, before I actually show the setup, I'm not going to go in through the actual putting it together because it's basically you're going to connect this here, wherever the hell that is. <laughs> Where's the top? Okay, here we go. You're going to connect this here. This is your power. And then there has to be a line here. Okay, they give you about 50 feet of line here. Okay, so this plug is if you want to plug it to a power source, like a portable charger, even a computer. If you want to do that in the house, you can program your computer to turn it on and off. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if the new Apex has a USB port, but if it has a USB port, you can probably program this. And, and don't quote me, uh, Neptune people, if you're listening, something like this would be excellent in an emergency. If you can run this to a USB port and if the power changes in the tank or in whatever you got you could program this port to turn this on because it, it has a charging uh, battery in here so you can charge this and leave this as an emergency backup so that's pretty cool but for our purposes we're going to run it outside so I'm going to plug this one into the slot and 
this will be mounted as such. Oh, I already got a power indicator. Wow, so look. You can see that light, hopefully you can see the light charging. That means I got power here. If we put it in the sun, there's a little bit of sun there. And let that charge up. So we already know, even in the shade, I was getting a limited amount of power here. So let's walk over to the greenhouse and uh, I won't drag you through the actual mounting and so on and so forth because you can pretty much uh, apply whatever your setup is to uh, getting this set up. But this is basically it right here. Pump panel and airline so let's take a look at the greenhouse it's blazing hot out here in Brooklyn so uh, let's see uh, how I'm gonna apply this okay I got a bunch of tomatoes over here you can see summer Sun is blazing I'm leaving the greenhouse open right now you can see the solar-powered pump is blowing and remember how I told you about that algae the algae is spread out so this is why you need water movement now if you don't remember oh look at this dumb snail snail must have thought that this was fresh water and he is dead <laughs> this is salt water out here running for about a couple of months now I'm actually getting what looks like a cyano slash coralline algae I have not been dosing it or anything but uh, we're getting signs of cycling. So uh, in addition to this solar powered pump, I'm going to add the solar powered aerator so that these two, which are stagnant, can get some life because the stagnant water is no good. So let me get it set up. And look, we got Daphnia and larvae by the tons in there. If you look really close, you can see the wigglers in there. So uh, yeah, this is why you need movement because this will become a haven for bugs if we don't have water movement. And that's tons of Daphne if you look and mosquito larvae as well. So let me get this set up. I'm gonna mount it here. I'm gonna strap this in and mount the bubbler here and run the solar power out one of these little holes here so that it can access the sun. So let me get that set up. All right, before I get into the actual installation of the solar panel, I'm going to refresh and show you a little something that I covered in an older video, and that's how to mount things, including power strips, hanging fixtures that have these screw mount type of things. And the way I do that, I take a piece of paper. For instance, I'm going to use this instruction paper that came with it. I'm going to take a pencil or a screw, anything sharp. I use the paper like so. I put it over the holes, if you can see that. Let me move, it's pretty bright. I put the paper over the holes and I punch a hole where the little screw hole that I want to put is. And then I punch another one where the other one is. And when you're done, you get a perfect mount template so that you can drill your screws in and it will completely line up with the holes on your device, power strip, or whatever you want to mount. So take a piece of paper and a pencil or a screw and you will create a template for mounting anything you want, whether it's a picture, a hanging light, a power strip, or anything. It makes your life so much easier. All you have to do then is get your drill, and your screws just like this you put them in there and you have a perfect template for mounting your device well people here we are I got the solar power uh, panel mounted to my little fence here I got a little hole running through the back of the greenhouse as so not to let water run into the greenhouse they give you a good amount of power cable from the panel to the pump itself and it's running really well. Now you have two options. You can charge the unit, which according to the instructions, it takes about four hours to reach full charge, or you could have it charge while it's running. Right now I have it charged while it's running. Basically you hold the power button down for four seconds to turn it off or on. Uh, I'm gonna turn it back on, hold the power down for four seconds. It's not loud at all. Um, outside 
it's running pretty good. Um, one thing to note, they give you a diffuser, which really isn't a big issue because I have it mounted up here with some tie line so that I don't have to worry about water running up. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And I have it running in two tubs right now. So it, to see how much power uh, it gets, it does a pretty good job. Now, I can't speak to the quality of the unit. You know what you, you know, you buy stuff online. It's made in China. It's, I'm not expecting it to run like 20 years or anything. But right now, I'm running it through the check valve with a T. And it's serving both my tub with my Molly Fry that I just found today in there. They are loving it. Um, one good thing, it gets really hot out here, so it really does help to have aeration in these tubs, not only just water movement, but to increase the aeration. Um, the fry were not swimming out in the open as they are now since I turned that on, and it's giving it a, a good amount of oxygen. I'm going to uh, film at night and see how long it runs at night. I think it's supposed to run for about 16 hours without the sun, if I'm understanding the instructions correctly. But uh, over here, where I have my mountain minnow and uh, white clouds and fry, I had no pump running in here. And as you can see, since I ran the pump, look at the fish gravitating towards the oxygen. So they are loving the oxygen in the water. I never had anything in this tub except water and fish. No pump, no power head, no nothing. And these guys wintered up out here, so uh, they're not used to this. So it should only increase the quality of water. I got the little box filter uh, in there with a little bit of carbon and some uh, floss. It is blazing hot out here. The, the, the sweat is pouring off of me. Um, it's really nuts. It's over 100 in the greenhouse. If you can read that out, it is over 100. So I'm opening up the greenhouse during the day to get some, some air flow in here. But um, let's compare it to the uh, power head, power driven pump. And... Uh, with full sun, you can see that earlier project. If you're not all, already a subscriber, click subscribe to check out my past videos on how I created this solar powered box filter with the power head. And uh, you'll see that the air driven one is actually running a lot better. It's easier to power things with the air <laughs> than I'm finding with the water. So I'm gonna see how this pump does and maybe I'll order another one for the uh, tub. Because uh, if it does well, I could use this to do a lot of good things. I have my Daphnia and uh, mosquito larvae tubs, which I use to feed all of the other fish and fry. And you can see when the water gets stagnant, it gets that nasty green. You can see a little bit of movement in there if you look really close. Here's some larvae in the corner here. You can see them hanging out. Um, but yeah, not only is it quiet, surprisingly... But it's pretty good. If it can run two tubs, I'm impressed. I'm not expecting it to run three. I have a, a dozen box filters, so I'll probably replace this uh, air stone with another box filter. Um, but not really necessary. I haven't had in the past, but you know, you have the option. And the fact that it can run two, I'm really impressed. So for now, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'm not giving it a permanent thumbs up because it's only running for a few hours now. Um, click subscribe, ring the bell, click that bell option so that you'll get the update when I do the follow up to see how this does over about a week or so. And I'm going to, if you're not following me on Instagram, D from Brooklyn on Instagram, I'm going to come back to the greenhouse at night when the uh, sun is down and see if it's still running or I give you an update to see what you'd have to deal with. So till next time, this is D signing out with another affordable yet efficient project. If you have power running to your tubs and uh, outdoor projects, it can never help or hurt rather to have solar power because it can only add with no electric bill, which if you live in New York, I'm not a fan of the electric bill. So this is D signing out. Love, peace and hair grease. The f I've never seen all of the fish in one place before. <laughs> I've never been able to film them in one place before. They are obviously loving the air. The air pump is definitely... Uh oh I see some that are carrying eggs, actually. I see two females that look pretty big over there. So I'll probably have some more fry. And look at them all coming up. They're all swimming in that corner. So I'm going to have to uh, write some uh, research papers on 
water, oxygen, and flow. So until next time, I'm going to chill, sit back. It's blazing hot in here. I'm probably losing weight, the amount of sweat that I'm dropping. So uh, I'll see you next time. Love, peace, and hair grace. This is D. I'm out. See ya. The power of the sun. Mother Nature never fails.